receivers, but you know, I, I, I got to give them a lot of credit for stepping up and, and answering the questions. Yeah, I don't. I, that's one of the things that like I've never understood how athletes can do when you lose a game like that. Like I don't even want to talk to my wife when my favorite team loses a basketball game. I have no association with. <laughs> but yep. and then like they they're up there like with that kind of collapse, asking questions for like idiots like me and you. Like I don't know how to do it. Yeah, Cam Newton would have left like. Several times during that whole thing. <laughs> he never would have made it through. Uh, and the other second round action. Look, as much as you and I crushed Syracuse for getting into this tournament, I'm not going to sit here and be one of those people that says, see, they deserve to get in because now they're in the Sweet 16. They played Middle Tennessee in the second round. That was a gimme. But now the Cuse find themselves in the Sweet 16 with an opportunity to beat Gonzaga and go to the Elite Eight? I can't explain it, Rob. You know, good for them, right? Good for them for making it this far. But saying that this proves that you deserve to be in the tournament when you were arguably the worst at-large seat to ever get into an NCAA tournament is like saying that it's, you know, you're allowed to be getting drunk in a bar when you got in with a fake ID, <laughs> right? So, like, I just, I don't, I don't like that argument. I hate when people make that argument. Good for Syracuse. It's a great story. Like, I'm glad for the kids. They got absolutely screwed last year. Like, these kids got, it, it, what, what their school did to them by taking away the, the chance to play an ACC tournament and the NCAA tournament or the NIT, whatever it was, the self-imposed postseason ban, that, that was a terrible, like, I hate that. I hate that, I hate that, I hate that. So I'm happy for them that they're here. They still shouldn't be gotten in the tournament. That's a great point, but the ACC now has six teams in the Sweet 16, and none of them play.